Here's the room. Hallway. Look at the trash out there. Here's the room. So it's gonna lose a little bit of dimensions. But this is the room. Wow, that is one totally eaten up piece of wood. Wow. I'm gonna come through and spray all the internal walls. Probably this weekend. And get in here and spray everything down with my termite killer. Where's my order here? Phoning in my Starbucks order. Focus! So two things are happening with this G7X. One, the focus is like going back and forth. It's losing focus. Even though I, I see the little box around my face that says you are focused, or when I'm pointing at that, when I was pointing at the phone right now, it was it was like, yes, that is what I want to focus on. It wouldn't focus. And also there's dust behind the lens. So I've got to send this out, uh, this camera. I bought this camera at Best Buy, so I don't think there's a problem dropping it off and letting them do it, but I need a replacement camera to vlog with. So tomorrow, I will show you what I'm gonna be vlogging with. I love this system, I order online with my app, I just go in and pick it up, that's it. I didn't know what to take of that, so um, I, I thought there was that girl crying there. Well, she turns out she was crying. I thought she was puking. Um, I rolled the window down, turned the camera off, and rolled the window down and asked her, you know, are, are you okay? She was shaking her head no, and I said, do you need help? And she shook her head no. I, I tend not to get myself involved with the with the cryings of young women's. Um, it's kind of one of my policies in life, but she said no, so I, I asked, and we're not going to get out of the car and start trying to console a, a young a young woman. I feel bad for her, but yeah. There's the first Tesla in the wild that I've seen. Was this the X or something like that? Tesla X, Model X, that's right. So with the doors that swing open, Gullwing. Shaytards are giving one away. They're auctioning it off. Something like that. It's like gonna be a, a raffle ticket or something you can buy. It's it's pretty cool looking. I mean, it's a nice. It's it's a small SUV, but it's it's pretty nice looking. Those doors are awesome too. With the yeah. whole pack, that whole package. Uh, he's also in her most of beach, so he's probably drunk. I <laughs> I am laughing so hard at that. <laughs> he's also in her most of beach, so he's probably drunk. <laughs> If you have ever been to Hermosa Beach, California, you know exactly what he's talking about. Holy shit. So I'm at the Redondo Beach Performing Arts Center right here, and there's a field. Really, really nice field. Look at all these kids. They're playing outside. Not a Pokemon in sight. <laughs> Except for those guys. Those guys right there are Pokemoning. And every uh, Thursday, they do food trucks here. So I'm gonna go check out some food trucks. Oh, of course they've got poke. Poke's the new, uh, the new food truck staple. Gonna give a shout out to uh, Buck of the, uh, of the food truck organization or whatever it is. He saw me playing Pokemon and said, hey, if I give you a dollar, will you pop a lure on the uh, on the Pokestops here? And I was like, yeah, sure. So he gave me a buck for every lure I popped. That's pretty funny. Lures are a buck. So, buck with the bucks. That's right. It's win-win. Buck with the bucks. It's a win-win. Win-win-win. What do you guys think of this house? Doesn't it have a funky roof line? I like what they did with the landscaping though. They did a really good job. I think I'm gonna do something like this. These little LED lights that are charging, self-charging. Solar charging, Jesus. Quick pan of the new construction area. All the things going on, guys. I haven't done a video in here in a little while. Got a wire through the middle of the area where I want to stand. Okay, so I wanted to do an update video for a EDC item that I've been carrying for a little while. The switch plier by SOG. 
there was a couple of things that uh, I had issue with and I wanted to talk about them, but it's not really review ready kind of stuff, so I just want to work through my my thoughts. You push the said push button and it releases the pliers. If you have a plier intensive workload where you need the plier before you need the blade, this is the this is the the knife for you. But here's my problem. And it's and it's a small knit, but it's actually a pretty big knit. I want to see if I can get this. See these grooves here? So like the star cog pattern. Well, it carries upright like this. So every time this is in my pocket and I and I dive my hand in to get things out of my front pocket, I tear it up on these cogs. It's really frustrating. So I've had to start carrying this back pocket carry, which is not a big problem because it's it's kind of it's not it's for a multi-tool, it's it's on the small side. It's very skeletal size, linen and skeletal size. But that really bugs me. And I was thinking to myself, it's like it doesn't really serve any kind of purpose other than looking like gears. And it was it came to me that it's purely form over function. This was purely a design decision for aesthetics. It wasn't for usability. Because anybody who carried this and plunged their hand into those pockets would have got their hands stuck on these nubs. And so this is a larger point, right? This is a larger point about, about life in general. Hell, even being a dad. Aesthetics can only take you so far. And usually it's only helpful to the people who aren't involved in your day-to-day -day life. Who aren't involved with how you actually do things, who are not affected by your day-to-day -day choices. Aesthetics are the, the, the look, the packaging, the glitz, the glamour, it's not the substance. And while this is a good knife, and I'm using this more as a, as a jumping point, while this is a good knife and there's interesting things in it, its function gets lost because its form was trying to be something it wasn't. It's trying to appear that it was some kind of clockwork you know, cog-driven tool. But that's not the case at all. You didn't need to do that at all. You could have smoothed those edges and made it easy to pull from your pocket. Instead, you've got this knuckle-dragging, pain-in-the-butt gear thing going on. And I can't tell you how, I mean, it's two layers of gears, right? It's this black gears, and then it's this, like, these knurls on the outside. Who is that helping? It's like, the most dumb jimping ever because it's, it's not helping you actually retain the grip on the tool, right? Because you can see it here. Once this is deployed, it's not helping you hold it. This is what's helping you hold it. And this has got their logo on it. See? And it's slick. Think about that. And, and apply it to like your entire life. Form over function. If you do that, it's superficial. Right? It's a superficial way of life. Some people say, oh, if things that are Spartan are not artistic. But we know that's not true because if you look at Quaker furniture and, and, and Amish furniture and tradition, and there's beauty in their function, their use of function. The form is lacking from a traditional design view, but in its function, it is beautiful. That is a rambling point for my end of the day here. Uh, question of the day is a two-parter because it's both, both ways. What is functional to a point that its form is reduced? And what is so beautiful form-wise that its function becomes almost unusable? I gave you the example of the SOG switch plier. That if it didn't have these little stupid form nubbins on it would be a very, very cool to carry knife. <laughs> Pontiac Aztec. Right? I'm sure functionally it did the job to the T. Form wise, it is the ugliest vehicle that has ever graced four wheels and rolled off of a plant. Pontiac, at least. American car for sure. I'm sure the Japanese have come up with some crazier stuff. So that's the question of the day. That's the vlog for today. Guys, if you enjoyed this vlog, give me a thumbs up. If you're not already, please subscribe. And I will talk to you tomorrow morning. One last note tomorrow, I try and fix my Phantom 4. And. Angel game in the evening. Gonna be a fun vlog, guys. You gotta tune in for tomorrow, okay? I'll see ya, bye. We come to the end of the video, and this is what we call a trailer. It's where I ask you, if you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see my day-to-day -day vlogs, hit subscribe. And if you want, I've got a whole playlist with over 700 videos 
just talking about stuff that you just watched. So if you enjoy all of that, go check that out too. I really appreciate you coming. Comment below. I engage with everybody. And thanks a lot.